sure that there's some different group that is present in the table with Mark. I'd like to have a sentence in 2004, um, and no more sentences. Um, I lived at the edge of a small town and behind the farm, and in the middle of May, um, I seen the black leopard. And then another two weeks later, I seen it again in the same field. And at the end of June, then, one evening, the Dutchie rang it, thrown across over 300 hundred yards, two fields, which we captured a video with. Um, subsequently, after that, the, the army came out and searched, and the Gary tried a helicopter and a fixed wing to play in. He was seeking treatment for two days. Uh, Mark, I did contact Mark, then I told him here, Mark, the workers, see yourselves. And uh, we got some kind of investigation, we come across print and some face scratches. After that, then I, uh, I made a trap, it was 8.44.44, and uh, I set up a model camera and a colour camera with infrared for an item. And I made it with, uh, with the, with the uh, Hard and paint and kept changing the data every three years. <coughs> this wasn't working, and then uh, um, my stack took over to us, which I think was April 06, and Chris came along as well. Um, and um, it was a problem made by two in order for animals 24 7, which was included part of the trip. Basically, we reset up the trap in a different area, which was at a, um, a duck farm, which there was a number of sightings. And I started getting the trap with, uh, with turkeys, dead turkeys. After two months, this wasn't working, so I um, decided to move the trap to a different area where there was fowl being removed from a turkey house. There was quite a number of seconds in, in the area around the farms and that, so that's why I was interested in moving this particular uh, property. I set up a smaller uh, camera with smaller infrared, as I felt like infrared might be not turned on. What I've done this time was uh, tie the turkeys to the exterior of the trap to try and see what they come and take them without trying to you know, just encourage the wind straight off. And for two or three months then I'd done that and I kept reviewing the tapes every day. And what was happening was foxes were coming at night and they were, they were taking the turkeys to break their legs and take them away. So uh, I decided then that I would go in a different uh, Different plan, and I actually increased the size of the trap to a 20 foot trap with uh, doors at both ends, and I put a centre in for fire. Where I actually put a, a cage in the centre and put fire in, where it have actually live bait in the cage, and it, its own noise would draw the attention, hopefully, of an animal. So uh, I've now placed that trap in a location where it's been a number of seconds, and uh, hopefully, now in June, whenever Mark is over, we, we tend to to be at it at that stage and to hopefully that we may be successful in, that, in, in capturing the leopard. Also what we're hoping to do, I spoke to Mark and Colton there in other cases, we're hoping to do is uh, that there will be maybe vigils between dawn and dusk and uh, feed searches during the day and that. And there's a couple of areas where I think it may be possible that there may be then and we're hoping that we will maybe during the day go and check those areas out to know. So, uh, be good to see that the number of people will come over and the more the better, you know. And uh, that's more than I said. So any questions or anyone? What do you want to catch there? Because I want to color it and release it again to see where it's actually going and see where it's coming and that type of thing, you know. Yeah, which you can't do in some manner. So you wouldn't be held liable if it did if it then sort of did something unpleasant. Yeah, who'd be held liable? It's a bit of no, 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 because it's um some lines got different laws. Pardon? Some lines got different laws. One of the cases saying it's, it's two days south of the order. Yeah. So at the moment it's not illegal to actually be released an animal, but you can actually capture and release. It's not illegal to do that. There's a chappy, I think it's Guy and Smith, he's a prolific sort of author of sci fi, sci fantasy, <laughs> dyslexia. So he's not as good as sci fi. Okay, fine. But he, he's, he's got an interest in this subject, and he did write a pamphlet on big cats once as well. And he's had a baited cage out for several years, and he said he claims there's plenty of sightings in his sort of <coughs> district, and he hasn't had anything. I mean, how much you can go 
go on just one person's experience. Was it Napier or was it? No. Let's go to Napier. We got far from actually that we set a trap up. Um, it was the time of the bird flu. And they actually put signs up at the repair you know, cats or birds and that side, birds away from the from the site they don't. And that actually we feel that actually made it through the cats to the to the location you know? Whenever I said the trap up first I had the I had the sound of the distressed rabbit calling and at seven times I said to walk every few minutes and walk a few seconds and I'd get home. But I think it was just so sequential and that it kind of maybe would have done more happen with the owner. Yeah. It's not official. Yeah, so I think the real thing is what if you've any chance at all that's the real thing. And you have to uh, uh, Frank Tunbridge and Danny Nynham uh, had a knife bent uh, no, no, just a basic cage in the forest of Dean once and they found that anything but cats was going in and unless you're checking it every half day really, you risk getting people dogs in or crows or foxes or whatever. So yeah, presumably you would be able to you would be checking those right. But well, the way the setup was that I had a I had an arm and I think to the monitor centre so if it, it, the door dropped I get the phone call. So as long as we have the site where there's power, which that's there's power in the site where we are at the moment, we can we can have that facility also, you know. So as soon as the door goes down, you get the phone call and you can go check it. If if you call them, how would you actually get a call off? Well if there's a couple of possibilities Mark may know where we can get one, so we'll have the daughter around the case is there. And then there's a guy in the north as well, he may be able to get me a car off. So, so just to have to try and raise the car off. I'm not putting the end. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the kind of speculation about numbers of cats that might be out in Ireland? I suppose, like, from the area of society, that their general perception would be that they'd be quite low, you know? Maybe Maybe as low as a dozen or so, you know. But it could be a lot more, but there's different pockets that we've actually found in the certain sites of the type of you know. Like a number of weeks ago, there was one north of Belfast and the sky was a few, and that's any site in that area, it's always a few, and that's the kind of, but, um, where with us, it's, it would be a leopard, you know, black leopard, anyone who sees it, it's a bit of a black leopard. So it's not just the big black ones that are out. The, there are puma types as well, that we see. Yes, the, the next little shop in 86, Siri was one of two that, that was not accounted for, so I don't, the other one has never been accounted for. Hello, Charles, have you access to a trip camera? A dip pistol, would it be a trip camera? Uh, the trap? I have, Mark actually gave me the old one, I wouldn't say the last of ones, but after a couple of days here, now, I'd be interested to get one or two of those set up, you know. Just with the cages and the power and that, like you have the corn, you know, continuous 24 hour corn, you know. Because, I mean, I'm not experienced with it, but I hear a lot of people um, say I'm not see traps, and they'll look at the traps from a distance, as you know, what's going on here. And my initial thought was if there was a camera, I put on top of the trap, you know, something's facing the trap or circling the trap, and not catch. Now, you know, uh, even if it hasn't got on the trap, you'll know what's taking your interest yes. in the trap. But the lens we have is wider, the wider lens, so more, more of the area, you know, which will actually show the animal went in, you know. Mm -hmm. There was one thing in the conscious that we were successfully tracking an animal, the first thing you want to hear is, oh, they can put that in there himself, you know. Exactly, but, yeah, I've heard that before. But the other thing I spoke about earlier, I think, yesterday was, uh, was, was the number of traps were in Johannesburg. Seven or eight cats stuck in one night, you know. Yeah. So if it can be done there, it can be done somewhere else, you know. Yeah. I think it's so not easy to try and find what traps they did use. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. And how they baited them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone can find that out. I was going to try and find that something. That might, that might help if we mm -hmm. don't work. Then that would find what method they mm -hmm. use. But wasn't that one in a mobile? It was. It was one that the left was escaped from, so it presumably smelled very much of the left. No, they call it. I know, but they used one that has leopard smells in it. Because it's stinkless. Sorry. 
So, so uh, where, where have people heard this reported, this story? But I've only read it in the sort of, you know, popular literature. The story about the multiple captain in Johannesburg. Yeah. It was actually sent on TV as well. Uh, yeah. It's one of the things that everyone knows. Where have you heard it from? Where have you heard it from? The only thing that's interesting is it's very similar to a story that was uh, Peter Hathaway Capsule comes down. Um, the, 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 that was about Nairobi. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they said that they set up uh, cages around the city and they had two that were called the Liverpool State. Um, but that was a book that was around the world sort of the I want to be sure that it's not what we thought. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I got it from Quentin Rhodes originally. Fuck you. Gone now, so I'm not sure where he got that from. I know, I know which books repeated it, but they never say where they got it from. I'll ask George Rose, can you just tell him, because he's doing it. Mm. Don't even know if you have any contact with him. Charlie, when will we hear more about your what's going on? Through Mark to the group? Yeah, through Mark to the group. Yeah. If anyone wants to go, just contact Charlie and Mark. And, uh, the air travel is quite cheap now, right there. Mm -hmm. Mental history game is 26 euros. So, <laughs> 10 pounds each way. And that's why they're probably in the same place when they're up in the same way. They're still in the UK. Many thanks. John Austin.